Hi guys, welcome to T-Way episode 56. I'm Andrew and today I will be your host, taking you round. Um, behind this gate, we have something a little bit special. Um, normally as we enter through the gate, you've got generally the van or the smart car parked on the left, but not today. Come and see what we have. From our good friends over at Lamborghini London, we've got a, uh, a Lamborghini Huracan STO. Wow, it looks incredible. I don't know about you guys, but growing up, I used to have Ferraris on my wall. But I think since working here, I've definitely become more of a Lambo fan. What I'd like to do is introduce my mate Coral, Corel, who's going to tell us a little bit about the car. Corel, tell us a little bit about the um, Lamborghini STO as you've uh, brought it down. What would you like to know? Just a few little stats. 640 brake horsepower, rear wheel drive car. Uh, this is the first one. This is actually London's demonstrator. Uh, this one we have spec'd up to around 350,000 pounds. Um, if you fancy an STO, um, not sure how many allocations are left because we have been really busy with them, but come and see us in Hatfield or in London. Pass you back. Thanks. But there you have it guys. If you are interested, get in touch. Uh, Corel is the um, sales... Used car manager. <laughs> Corel is the used car manager for Lamborghini London. Um, definitely knows his stuff. So if you are interested, get in touch. So as we go back, obviously we've got to do the backwards walk. Um, what we've also got in for a wrap today, first car in today, is a Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider. Just come in, box fresh. This is going Avery Gold Chrome. Hasn't got a job card in it yet, so we can confirm it later. But wow, does look awesome. Um, if we head into the back, not all the cars have arrived yet, so, um, um, so we are just waiting on a few cars to come. I'll show you what, what there is here. Um, so if we just go into the back first, we have Mercedes EQV, which you probably saw last week. It's just come in for a few little details that we've arranged. In fact, also, he did have gloss black badges, but now we have done them into a, like a satin silver. Over here, we've got Burt M850 from our good friends at BMW Park Lane. This is just, as you're all aware, his, uh, his car for the minute until his M3 arrives, which he cannot wait for. If you guys were tuned in on Friday, you would have seen that we gave away these three cars. And they've been given away to three lucky people, three Y Club members. Guys, if you are not a Y Club member, I'd encourage you to go on www.yanomizecomps.com and sign up. I've said it before in one of the other videos, um, it's only 9.99 at the minute with 50% off all tickets. And we will continue to give back and show love to all of our Y Club members. Um, three lucky people were able to take these home or are going to take them home they won them on friday um, and obviously we can just continue giving back as jan always says so now we are in the almost broke the mic <laughs> now we're in the, the old unit we've got a tesla model 3 performance here going into the 3m gloss wicked nix talk to us about this vinyl is the vinyl easy to work with yeah the vinyl was all right yeah, it's very good yeah, i'm loving it working with it so yeah, it's getting there as well Nick. cool really like and two bumpers. Nice. So when are we going to be done? Tomorrow morning. Oh, nice. So here we have the um, Porsche Taycan Turbo S wrapped in the Oracle Silver Grey, which for me looks incredible. This looks like a factory paint finish, which is essentially what the customer was after. We've gone to town on this one. Full wrap, shuts and returns. So if you come and have a look in here, Nico and Mark have done an incredible job um, with this vehicle. Um, I'm sure the customer is going to absolutely love it. So typically we do head into the back and normally have a good conversation with Sal, but he's actually on holiday for the week. Um, so sorry about that. He will be back next week for the next episode of T-Way. So let's head into the new unit. So before we head into the new unit, it's your favorite section, the comment section. Let's go. Okay, uh, favorite music. I would say more likely, more of what I'm going to listen to is going to be R&B. Um, still do listen to a bit of drill, a bit of garage. Driving depends on the destination. If I've got to get somewhere quick, it's got to be drill or garage. If I'm just going for a cruise, it's going to be R&B. Also, I reckon, even when I'm driving, I always, I do like a bit of gram hip hop, but not as much as dance. It's what, what I know, what I always know. My favorite genre when driving would have to be hip hop. A bit of R&B, but I'm old school, so I'm mainly hip hop. And um, yeah, I, I love music, uh, rap music. I go crazy, <laughs> but um, yeah, man. 
house music. It just keeps me awake, just keeps me going, bust a little skank, you know. Um, but in general, my favourite genre is probably rap music because I rap myself, so I'm not talking about Yanomai's rap either. But yeah. You know what? It's hard because I'm like, I love my music, innit? I've got a very open mind when it comes to music. Overall, it's always like, for me, it's gonna be like rap, old school rap. Uh, driving, it's gotta be like house or some drum and bass or something to keep you awake, bro. <laughs> yeah, I listen to anything, like, if you play any music to you, yeah, I listen to it, but mostly I will play like Chris Brown, Neo, yeah, maybe, yeah, Ed Sheeran, so on. <laughs> mostly D Block and Chris Brown and Drake, and then sometimes Ed Sheeran. All right, working around cameras or having cameras on me whilst I work, it don't really bother me. I'm not fussed. And like knowing that my life kind of, well, not my life, but part of my life is on the internet, even that doesn't really bother me either. It is what it is. Um, people are going to talk. Just get on with it, innit? Being on the camera all the time, um, obviously it means we can't go unshaven. Got to make sure we're smart all the time. Can't just have a bad day. Um, but other than that, it's pretty normal. It takes some getting used to. It does take some getting used to. Um, but yeah, it's what we're here to do. With the cameras on me, I really don't mind. At first I was a bit nervous only because I got stutter, but then at the end of the day it's work and if you let it affect you, then I can't do my job. So yeah, I just don't think about it. Yeah. Cameras and all that's not a problem because I've done a bit of acting when I was younger. So um, listen, you just either got it or you don't. Just don't even think about it being there. Be yourself and just crack on. Do we speak English or Tagalog? Tagalog, yeah, Filipino language. So for the easiest car, I know it's not a car, but Range Rover would definitely be the easiest vehicle for us to wrap. Uh, we can do them in about a day, so they're not really hard at all. To wrap, um, probably Range Rover Sport, I think. But we did one once. It was an A-class and we'd done it in like three hours. Yeah, I would say Range Rover as well. Because it's easy panel, easy to rub with it, so yeah, I think we'll say Range Rover. Yes, 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 I passed my theory test. I uh, don't remember what mark I got, but that don't matter, I passed. Cool guys, and we're back. Um, if you do have any questions or if there's anything you want to know about uh, the staff, always please feel free to leave the comments below and we will do our best at getting them answered for you. Right, let's head into the new unit. Here we've got another Lamborghini. It's like the Lambo showroom today. Uh, we've got a Hurricane Performante. It's just come back from having a service. Um, so it's had its service. The customer just wanted us to look at a few things for the vehicle. Um, so we will liaise with the customer later on today and find out exactly what this car is having done. We have the Mercedes CLA uh, having a full wrap, shuts and returns in satin black. Satin black is by far the should we call it the safest colour? Um, I think it looks awesome. All year round, summer or winter, you can't lose on a satin black. Um, but this car's having full works, it's having wheels to gloss black, uh, shuts and returns, we're smoking the rear lights. Um, see if there's anything else on there. Oh, and a full D-chrome. Um, it's mad, I shouldn't really even need to see this, it's my customer. I should know that off my heart. As we come round, let's see what the boys are up to. Okay, what's happening? Boys, I'm on my own today, ain't I? Where's the rest of the crew? Well... I told you, today's a weird one. Not that many cars, not that many staff. Nah, I'm normally with Tev, innit? So Tev was in this morning, but then he started feeling ill, so now I'm working on my own. <laughs> Another one's gone home. Tev, get well soon, mate. Yep. Yeah. Um, what's happening, what are you working on? A rear bumper of this. We've got a rear and front bumper, and then the D-chrome left. We pretty much finished the whole outside inside the shuts, yeah. uh, just to do the rear front bumper and then D-chrome. Wicked, what's it like wrapping a rear bumper by yourself? It's all right, I, well, Tev actually uh, helped me lay it and then I'm just right. finishing it off, so. Cool. Just takes a little bit longer, obviously it's one person down, but still the same job. Cool, that's gonna look mint. Uh, cool, cheers, Key. Let's go around, see what else the boys are up to. Hey, Pav. How are you doing, mate? What's happening, let's get Pav. Everyone loves Pav. What are you hey, doing? You all right? Yeah, what are you doing? Just stripping the car door and I found some red lipstick on the door. Red lipstick? Yeah, well, it looks like red lipstick. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to go wash my hands. Because you've got to be clean <laughs> working here. Anyway, I'm off. Cool, perfect. It's Pav. 
everyone's favorite. So this has just come in for a, uh, a full wrap uh, BMW 5 Series. BMW 5 Series, and this is being wrapped in with no job card. Wait, but you are slacking, bro. No job cards. But, but to be fair, this customer has come in at least, I think, three or four times and has changed colours. I think we started off with a blue, then we went to a red. Um, then I believe it's now potentially going to a, a satin bitter yellow. Could be wrong, but we'll see on the next T-Way. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, we're still waiting on a few cars, so all the boys have jumped on this just to bash out the strip so we can get going on the wrap. Um, let's see what the twins are up to. Hi, Dee. Yes, Andrew. What's happening? I'm good, I'm good. How's your weekend? It was good. What'd it's you get good. up to? Um, well, not as much as I wanted to because of the weather, but yeah, just like family time and that again. Were you um, with your brother at the weekend? Yeah. Real, was I with you? I can't remember. Did, did you win? No, did you? Yeah. You know what, yeah? So, I ain't been casino. Yeah, bro, hold the mic. Tell oh, yeah, yeah. Tell I ain't it. been casino in a while. So we was just like, yeah, we'll test our luck, da, 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 all that. Everyone that I went with won. Like a minimum of like 80 to 100 pounds. Me, nothing. Yeah, but Everyone obviously. It's like, you don't play properly. Real said, oh, you need to play risky. That's how you win. I was like, I'm good. Learn when the fun stops. That's what they say in the adverts, isn't it? Um, obviously, that's what they got up to. But we'll, just on that, we'll touch with Rio. So, Rio, take bigger risk, you're saying, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? What, what's, risks. What, what's the strategy? Um, just gamble, wouldn't it? That's, that's what it is, gamble. Just gamble. Take a gamble, you won't know until you take the risk. Fair enough, but I take it, when you go, do you go there with a, a set amount? If you lose it, you set lose amount. it. If I lose it, I lose it, cool. then I walk away. You treat I know it like, my limit. You treat it like any other night out. No, it depends, innit? <laughs> I love K, go big or yeah, go home. go big or go home. But no, it all depends, innit? Like, on a night out, that's a different story altogether. Just hopefully no one catches me on a night out. Raw. Maybe that's another one for another T way. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Chris, what's that then? Yeah, no, busy weekend. Um, digging in the garden. So digging up the garden? Yeah, find well, anything? Well, we, we found something. We're not sure yet, but we think we found uh, an air raid shelter from World War II. Oh, wow. So we'll keep on digging and see where it goes. Interesting. Where'd you leave it? Out in Hertfordshire? Uh, out in Essex. Essex. Yeah, cool. So. Nice. There you Busy go. Weekend. Busy weekend. Finding air raid shelters. Uh, this week uh, you, eh? I it's a bit rude what I'm doing. Oh, it's a little bit rude. What's rude? What do I do? It's a bit rude what you're doing, man. What, what do I do? <laughs> Bro. Um, well, I don't know what I'm Is so sorry. Right <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? I actually like Andy more than I like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, what's happening, mate? You're gonna have to edit that so, one out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to. For those of you that don't know, Andy, by the way, is actually a lean, mean, killing machine. He's like <laughs> a, he's like a fourth dan in karate. Um, nah, not fourth dan. What are you? Second dan? Yeah. Not fourth dan. Oh, sorry. Not fourth, fourth, fourth dan is a lifetime. He's a second dan in karate. How long has it taken you to become a second dan? About Twelve years. Twelve years. So. Can you kick us? That's what the, that's what they viewers want to know. Don't encourage violence. It's true. You know what? I don't know how I've taken this T-way through gambling, <laughs> through violence. Yeah, you can tell. The, you can tell it's going to be my first. We have got to make sure we edit him out. Yeah, you can tell it's going to be my first and very last T-way. But no, you had a good weekend, yeah. Yeah, uh, graded a few students yesterday. Okay. First face-to-face -face grading since the beginning of the first lockdown. Yeah. So, have you got your own practice or own dojo? Chikao, go camera karate. So okay. it's an international group. Okay, cool. Fair enough. And after how long someone doing it, can they get graded? Depending on how much they train, anything from six weeks and up. Okay. Anything from six weeks and up. Obviously, the higher the grades, the longer it takes. Fair enough. But, you know, first few grades, six weeks, three months, then six months, then it goes up to a year, two, three years. So basically, you look just enjoy kicking each other in the head? Yeah. Yeah. Where's Andy? Pain is good, it reminds you still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe for you, I definitely don't like experiencing pain. My pain threshold is uh, not very high. But, um, but yeah, there's the lovely Andy. Apologies, I missed you. Thanks, Chris, for reminding me. Don't worry, I'll get you in the car park later. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll uh, always be nice to Andy. He'll kick our ass. Uh, kick our
Oh, I've got to stop swearing, man. So po- <laughs> I am so potty mouthed, it's unreal. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's the Andy. And uh, yeah, let's go make sure I haven't missed any other staff out today. So as we have the STO here, it would be rude not to get the cold start. So let's listen to this. <laughs> Mate, thank you very much. And you're off. What's happening, guys? What's happening? What are we doing? Huh? Spot the coin. Spot the coin? Yeah. yeah is this the for coin. the anonymized comps? Yes, this is for the anonymized comps. I have to say, by the way, I'm almost to the end of T-Way, and you two make it look very, very easy. I am struggling out here. It's harder to speak, right? Like, as in, it's, Mate, it's, considering it's, it's, I spend my whole day at work speaking to customers and have no issue doing it, you put a camera in front of your face, I struggle to communicate. Mm. I swear a lot. Okay. She's swearing. I'm so potty mouthed, it's unreal. Okay. Um, yeah, you lot make it very seamless throughout the whole process. Um, I don't know whether that is your skills, which I'm sure it is, or just, just they're good editing skills. Um, but no. I'm sure the boys will make you look good. <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Ray's good. No, Ray's good. Um, but yeah, you know, man. Enough facts and figures, stats. So I had all that prepared beforehand, but. Um, just goes out the window, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, man. Just goes out the window? Yeah. I was like, I had it all in my head about the STO that was here earlier. Went, thank God your brother was here. I was oh. like, it's okay, tell us. <laughs> tell us a little bit more. Tell us a little bit about the STO. How did you find the mic, giving the mic every time you're talking to someone? Well, he yeah. hasn't actually given us the Sorry. mic just yet. So Sorry, about <laughs> I kept forgetting, I kept forgetting as well. Okay. The hardest part is getting other people to talk. So you might say, yo, how was your weekend? Like I said about a million times. Well, how was your weekend, bro? How was the weekend, bro? What's that then? What was this weekend saying? Get out so much on the weekend? Yeah. Do much on the weekend? Good weekend, bro? What's yeah. that? Good weekend? Hey, do you not want to say a little piece to T-Way? Like, how was this weekend? <laughs> nah, it's to be fair, to be fair, I made a massive boo-boo. I missed out Andy. And uh, they pointed that out to me in, uh, you know. So at last time I, I missed out Pab because I didn't give him the mic, so we couldn't hear him in the edit, so we had to get chopped out. Right there. Um, Have you uh, figured out your sign off yet? Mine's just a straightforward sign off. I know exactly what it is. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll tell you what, to, to be fair, what a better place to, to end the video. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video. Apparently so. <laughs> so, right. so. I'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. And from your two true hosts and myself, um, this is the end of T Way. Peace. <laughs>